hi fashion lovers you are welcome to another interesting video in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful and stylish fleet dress just like what you are seeing on the screen so if it is something you want to learn you need to keep watching this video and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you find this video very interesting all right guys let's get started to get started i will be making use of four yards of african print fabric so i'm going to be making use of four yards of african print fabric so i went ahead to cut out three yards so the three yards this is three yards of african print fabric so i folded the three yards into two did you see that and i'm going to go ahead and fold it again making it a four fold so this is three yards of african print fabric so i i cut out one yard so the one yard i cut out from this fabric is going to be my sleeve and this is the the three yards i folded into two and then folded it again so i'm cutting the front and the back so i went ahead and marked a starting point line as you can see did you see so you want to go ahead and mark your neckline so for the front i'm going to be using the neckline three inches by three inches and then i'll go ahead and connect so the width is going to be three inches the depth is going to be three inches and for the back the width is going to be three inches and the depth is going to be 1.5 inches and then i'm going to mark half of my shoulder and from that point i will mark our 1.5 inches for the shoulder slope so i'm going to be using 1.5 inches for the shoulder slope of the front and back because this is going to be a flare dress so after taking your your shoulder slope you want to go ahead just the way you see me keep my tape mark your armhole your chest line did you see you want to come down and mark your chest line so on your chest line which is this point you also want to mark half of your shoulder measurement and then with your ruler you want to go ahead and connect a straight line so you want to like divide the, your armhole by two and then go inward by half an inch so I'm going to be using this armhole for both the front and the back and on this point um, on the chest line I'm going to mark one quarter of my bust circumference so divide your bust by four and mark on the chest line and go ahead and connect your armhole so I'm going to be using the same armhole for both front and the back since I'm making a flat dress so I went ahead to mark the length of my top which is 36 inches so I marked 36.5 and then from this point from the starting point line I will go ahead and mark what I have so to the length of the dress that I want so you want to keep the tape from the starting point like this and take it to the point where you want the length of your your dress to be so after i checked it i have it as 45 but as i was taking it round towards this point it was not up to 45 inches it was 44 inches so i have to go ahead and remark the length so instead of using 45 i ended up using um 44 inches so this is me trying to remark the neckline so that my fabric will be enough so that means the total length i'm now working with is 35.5 instead of 36.5 because my fabric was not enough so i went ahead to cut out this part after taking it round so did you see that so on the chest line now you want to go ahead and add like 2.5 inches as is and your sewing allowance so i will go ahead and mark 2.5 inches on my chest line did you see and with my straight ruler i'm going to make a i'm going to make a diagonal line to meet this point do you see what i'm doing you want to go ahead and make a diagonal line to meet 
this point did you see that so making this flare dress is very very easy is very easy and simple did you see what i have so uh, you want to go ahead and cut you are cutting the neck the neckline for the back and you are adding half inch on the neckline and half inch on the shoulder and also on the armhole you are also adding half inch to it and then you want to go ahead and cut the side seam so when you are done cutting this is what you are going to have so you want to open it up you can see i have two pieces so you remove one which is going to be the back part and for the part that is going to be the front you want to go ahead and fold it again and then cut out the neckline for the for the front and add half inch to it as you are cutting so the next thing is to do the design on the top so from the shoulder you want to come down by 12 inches did you see you want to come down by 12 inches so that is how how deep i want the v to be the v neckline to be so you want to mark 2.5 inches at that point and on the damn part here you want to go ahead and mark two inches and then you want to you know connect so this part is going to be the part where the black fabric is going to be so from this point from the shoulder line you want to divide the shoulder by two and then from that point you make a straight line to meet this line here you make a straight line to meet this line at this point this is me trying to get that design on the front part so i'm going to use my pattern master to make a curve because the design on that front part is a bit curvy so that is why you see me using my pattern master to make that curve did you see so this is me using my pattern master to make the curve did you see so this this part now i'm going to cut it out so i'll go ahead and cut it out like this so when i'm done this is what i have and by the time you open this up this is what you are going to have so this part is going to be the black fabric did you see it's going to be for the black fabric so the next thing is to get your the depth of your v neckline so from this point you want to mark one inch and then you want to take it down to somewhere to around that 12 inches point you made earlier and then you want to go ahead and cut this out so this is how the v neckline is going to be did you see so that is the opening where you are going to be adding your button and the button loop did you see that so i just this is what i did to get that point so i'll go ahead and cut this thing this fabric on a black you know satin fabric and i'm going to be adding one inch on the side so that one inch is going to serve as a sewing allowance of the main of this fabric and the main fabric you know i didn't add a sewing allowance so i cut in the main fabric so the one inch you want to add is going to serve as a sewing allowance of the two side why you are going to be joining it did you see so that your shoulder will not will not be shutting so you're going to be adding one inch boy when you are sewing you will sew by half inch so that you'll be able to you know you'll be able to make up for the sewing allowance of the main fabric i hope you understood so i'm going to go ahead and cut it on the black fabric so this is the back part did you see how the back part is let me show you so this is the back part as you can see when you open it up this is what you are going to have and this is the front part when you open it up also this is what you are going to have for the front part so the next thing i'm going to do is to cut my sleeve this is the one 
yard of fabric that is remaining so i'll go ahead and fold it like this did you see you want to go ahead and fold it like this this is my the one yard that is remaining and then you fold it again you're going to be fold like folding in four fold like this after you are done folding you bring in your sleeve your long sleeve pattern did you see and then you want to like use your pin and hold it down so the length i have here is 22 inches where the fabric end i have it as 22.5 so i'm going to be using it as the length of my sleeve and i'm still going to be attaching a black fabric to the end so let me just use my pin and pin this down so when you are done pinning it down you can go ahead and add like um you know seven inches like this and then you know connect but before you do that you want to like add like um two inches on the sleeve on the bicep line like this and then you want to go ahead and connect like this but i guess the seven inches i added was small so i will just take it to the end of the fabric so what i ended up adding was 10 inches and then you want to go ahead and cut the sleeve out then add your half inch on the on the upper part like this and then you know you know go ahead and cut your sleeve so the excess i added on the sleeve is 10 inches i think is okay for me and then from the side here you want to go up by 1.5 inches and make a curve like this and then you want to go ahead and trim it off so you want to like you know trim it like curve it out very well so curve it out the way you will you know you will want it to be so when you open it up this is what you are going to have so at this point i feel i feel like i should you know curve it the more so you can you know you can do whatever thing you want so when i was done this is what i have did you see very easy and simple and i have the two sleeves together i have the two sleeves together let me just notch this point so this is what i have so far so i've gone ahead to cut out the front part you can see and i've added one inch as the sewing allowance so i've cut it out on the black fabric did you see and you can see i've also cut out the opening the v-neck line opening so when you open the black up the black material up this is what you are going to have so the next thing is to get the bottom flap or the bottom loop sorry then i have i have a cord here this is called cord so I'm going to be using it. So I went ahead to cut like 3 inches. And that 3 inches I cut, I'll be folding it on it. So let me just, you know, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be marking like um 1 inch. So I'm going to be like coming down by half an inch. And then I will now start marking 1 1 inch. So when you attach your loop, you give a one inch different. Yeah, you you measure one inch and attach the next loop. Did you see? So let I will just attach and show you what I did. So I've gone ahead to attach the loops. Did you see the way I attached it? So I used a cord. I don't know. You can use anything for this. So what I use is called a cord. So I attached it on that point. Uh, with one inch difference so after attaching it i'll go ahead and cut out another fabric that is going to serve as lining and i'm going to place it right side facing each other i'm going to place it right side facing each other so at this point i forgot i'm going to be adding a collar to this so i went ahead to sew the v neckline part and also sew the round neckline part but I was meant to sew only the V part. So I went ahead to sew this part, which is the right neckline. Did you see? But I was meant to sew only the V 
neckline. So I was done sewing this dress when I realized that I that there is um a collar attached to it. So I have to I have to go ahead, I know, losing the neckline again. So please don't make the mistake, just sew the V part. So at this point I was done sewing the V part, so I will notch you know notch all around so i'll be able to turn it to the right side please don't make the mistake that i made i ended up you know losing the the round neckline which is this part so when you are sewing yours just sew the v neckline part and leave your main neckline because of the collar we are going to be attaching at the end so when you are done, you want to go ahead and turn this to the right side. So when you are done, this is what you are going to have. Did you see that? So the next thing is to attach the front parts now. Did you, you want to attach the front part like this? Did you see? So go ahead and join the two sides together by half an inch. So this is the back part. So I went ahead to add an inter um to add a facing to the back part. But I'm not supposed to add a facing because of the collar. So I was done sewing this dress when I realized uh, that there is a collar attached to it. So, but please don't add and don't add your facing to the back part. Just leave the neckline like that. So after I was done sewing the front part, this is what I have. Did you see that? So I'll go ahead and sew the front and the back. But you are not supposed to add your your facing. You are supposed to leave the neckline because of the of the collar we are we are going to at, uh, attach to it. So it was a mistake, and I'm very sorry about that. So go ahead and sew the shoulder, and then also sew the side seams. Go ahead and join the shoulder, and also the side seam. So this is the sleeve did you see that this is my sleeve so i've gone ahead to cut out a fabric that is about seven inches in width or and then the length is the same as my sleeve length the down part of the sleeve length so i'll go ahead and fold it into two and it's going to give me 3.5 so i'll go ahead and attach it to the two sleeves now to the down part of the sleeve so this is what i have for my my the main dress after i was done sewing so this is what i have did you see that so i will go ahead and attach the sleeve you can see i've attached the design on the damp part of the sleeve so i'll go ahead and join the sleeve to the main you know to the main fabric did you see go ahead and join the sleeve to the main fabric so at this point i have to go and loosen the neckline again like i have to go ahead and loosen the neckline again so as you can see i'm done joining the sleeve did you see i'm done joining the the sleeve and this is what i have so far and you can see i've also losing the neckline did you see i've losing both the front and the back neckline to those points where the round neckline you know ends so i'll go ahead and measure the neckline go ahead and measure the neckline so i measured the full neckline and then i measured half of the back and half of the front neckline so i'll be able to cut out my my neckline so this is me folding the neckline so i went ahead to measure half of the front neckline and i have it as 2.5 and i measured half of the back neckline and i have it as four inches so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the neckline on um, the the collar so what i have total is 6.5 
the front neckline gave me half of the front neckline gave me um 2.5 wider y half of the back neckline gave me four inches so i have a paper here so i'll go ahead and mark 2.5 inches which is the front neckline So this is 2.5 inches and I'll also go ahead and mark 4 inches which is the back neckline and I'm going to make a straight line at that point. Did you see making it 6.5? So from this part which is going to be the front part, go up by 1 inch and then make a curve to meet the front. Did you see? To stop at that front neckline. And then you now want to go ahead and mark your 1.5 inches, which is the height of your neckline. You also mark it at this point. So from this point, connect with a straight line. From this point, connect with a curve line. Try to curve down this part like this. So with this now, you have gotten your color for the front. On this part, you can come in by three quarter or one inch and make a curve like this i'm trying to get that curve on the i'm trying to get the way the color is going to be so this is me trying to curve out the front color so this is how the front color is going to be so this is how it's going to be then you want to go ahead and cut it out So when I'm done, this is what I have. So this part, which is the back, is going to be unfold, while the front will be open. So the back here is going to be unfold. And then you're going to be cutting out two pieces for it. So I've gone ahead to cut, and I've added half inch on the sides now, half inch all, all around it as my sewing allowance. So I've cut out two pieces, and when you open the collar up, this is what you are going to have this is what you are going to have so I'll go ahead and cut an interfacing using my collar I'm going to cut interfacing the exact way the collar is so I've gone ahead to attach the interfacing on one part of the collar so I'm going to be placing the collar right side of the collar facing the other right side of the collar and then i'll go ahead and stitch the upper part and the side and also this side did you see that so when i was done this is what i have you want to notch notch the upper part like this after you are done sewing And then you turn it to the right side now. At this point, you want to go ahead and iron it out. So you also want to go ahead and, you know, fold the damp part in. So you'll be able to attach it to the main, fab, to the main dress. So you want to go ahead and bring in your dress and attach the collar to the neckline. So you want to go ahead and attach your collar to the neckline. When I was done attaching the collar, this is what I have. Did you see that? I'm done attaching the collar to the neckline. Did you see that? So I'm done sewing everywhere. So the next thing is to... You know, iron it out, then add your button, and then for the damp part, you want to go ahead and, you know, weave it out and then fold it once. You know, it's best you fold once, so weave it out and fold it once. So attach your button as well. So when you are done, this is what you are going to have. Did you see that? So at this point, I've not weaved the damp part, I've not, you know, but I'll go ahead and do that and then attach the button. Did you see? Attach the button on the neckline and then you are done. 
you attach the button to you know to the button loop and then you are done so thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial kindly you know like share and subscribe and don't forget to share this video and see you in my next tutorial bye